Hey guys, it is JStarWars360 here with uh, an addition to my best and worst 2013 videos. As you guys know, I mentioned in my m list, uh, when I was doing my best and worst, I did a whole video where I said all the movies I haven't seen and wanted to see. Well, I realized that I'm probably going to, over the course of mo weeks, months, y maybe even years, I'm probably at some point going to see a bunch of the movies that I missed in 2013. And... Some of them might drastically affect my best and worst list. So what I'm going to do is just create, have this be my update version. I'll have a list in annotations, which will show up here, right there. It's containing an update version of my best and worst list. I might just break it up into best, worst, and the okay, depending on, you know, how long, long each list is. It's probably, I'll probably break them up because they're never long. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I do want to keep update my list because, again, I'm going to see movies that probably will radically change my top 10 list, but I don't want to constantly redo my t top 10 best and top 10 worst list. And here's another thing. Um, as far as reviews of these films go, I'm probably not going to do video reviews of them. Not because I don't want to, but just because it's very time consuming. I don't have the time and effort to sit down and review every single film as that I missed in 2013 as I missed it because I want to do other videos as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm I don't know if I've mentioned this but I do do written reviews of all my movies and I do have those. So if you are curious as to what I thought of any of the films on the list that are going to appear right here you can just read my written review. I'm sorry if you want a full review, but again, I just don't have time. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. Oh, yeah, before I go, Clone Wars vlog, vo the vlogs. First off, sorry to those of you who want Powerpuff Girls vlogs. I want them too, but I just don't have time. And the second thing is I also want to focus on Clone Wars vlogs, which, by the way, I'm really sorry I haven't been getting to those. It's... Believe me, I really want to do them, but the thing is, again, I just have a really busy life, and some nights I'm able to do them, some nights I'm not, so just bear with me. I w Believe me, it as as painful for me not to do them as it is for you guys. I'm, again, I'm going to try and get one. I might try and do one today or tomorrow, but don't hold me to that. Please don't hold me to that. Life c can and will get in the way. And just keep in mind, if I'm doing, if I'm delaying it, it's not because I'm lazy, it's not because I've forgotten, I'm just really busy, and I can't unfortunately do everything I want. So please be patient. So yeah, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the, any, reading about any movies I missed from 2014. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I'm just going to be constantly updating this, adding new movies whenever I see them, so check back on a weekly basis, I would say. That's probably a, that's probably a fair assumption. Like check it back once a week. Don't check every day. I do not have the kind of life where I can just watch everything that came out in 2013. Like maybe because I'm constantly watching movies, but yeah, but but not that often. So yeah, once a week is a fair assumption. So yeah, so as of right now, you should be able to check out. The two movies that came out last year that, that I finally got around to see, one is 12 Years a Slave, which was really good, and then yesterday I saw Ender's Game, which was eh. And if you want more on that, you can just read my written review and check out any other interviews that I will have of movies when and I do them. So until then, this is Jay Star Wars 360 here. Take care, guys.